Hi YouTube friends, welcome to Key Nicole TV. Today's project is a tufted message board, which is perfect for home or office space that you can display pictures, postcards, inspiration quotes, and reminders. I decided to start a channel to show you some projects that I create. I started tufting and creating headboards back in 2010, which led me to branch off and do fun projects for commercial spaces like tufted cash wraps, panels, and window displays. I held workshops teaching ladies how to make ornaments and benches. I also started a event rental company where I create cool props and decor. Okay, okay, enough about me. Just watch me work. I'm using some leftover supplies and material. And here's my tools for today. I use two saw horses to hold up my MDF board. I'm using a jigsaw to cut off the excess MDF board that I don't want to use. I use a T-square to draw straight lines. Okay, next step is measuring where I would like to place my buttons. I'm using measurement seven down and five across. I can show you more in detail in another video. For now, you can just watch me work. I'm using a 3 8 drill bit to drill exactly where I want my button holes to go. I'm spraying adhesive spray glue on the entire board to glue down two inch foam. I'm using an electric knife to cut off the excess foam. Next, I flip the board over and I use my needle to poke holes in the back. Next, I used a special attachment to drill the holes in the front. I'm blind stapling my twine to the board because I'm used to doing this, but for beginners, please flip the board over and staple the twine in a zigzag pattern to secure the button. Now watch me work.
Repeat this process until all the buttons are secured and stapled to the board. And don't forget to pull the twine tight. Next, flip the board over, make sure all your buttons are secure, and cut off that excess string. When closing up the panel, make sure you start in the middle. Make sure you pull all the fabric the same way while stapling the fabric underneath the board. Please do not pull your fabric too tight and save your corners for last. Okay, we're almost done. Now flip the board over, staple around the panel, and cut off all the excess fabric. I like to add cording around the edges of my panels for a finished look. So I use leftover fabric, cording, and my sewing machine. I can show you how to make cording in another detailed video. But for now, just watch me work. Okay, my cording is all done. The final step is to staple the cording around the edge of the panel. I like to start at the bottom middle and staple the cording around the panel until I end up at the bottom middle again. Okay, YouTube friends, I'm done. Check out this tufted message board. If you like my work, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe.